Antarctica and the Southern Ocean play a critical role in the global climate. But to study these environments isn't exactly easy. But what if we could bring the Antarctic here to us? Hi, I'm Susan and my team here at Griffith University are doing just that with the help of some very helpful humpback whales. Each year, migrating humpback whales journey from the waters of Antarctica to our much warmer tropical waters to give birth and mate. And within their tissues, they carry messages about the health of the Antarctic sea ice ecosystem where they've travelled from. That makes humpback whales the perfect species to study the Antarctic sea ice ecosystem. Thanks to the amazing migrations they undertake, they bring the data right here to us in their blubber tissues. As they swim past our coastline, we're there to meet them to take a biopsy sample. We use a modified air rifle with a biopsy dart to take samples of their skin and blubber. The sample's very small in relation to the size of these animals, and they appear not to notice. The biopsy dart collects a cylinder of blubber and skin tissue that's about five centimetres long. But this amount is enough to perform up to 10 different analyses. Specifically, we're curious about the fat reserves of the whales because that tells us how successful their summer feeding on Antarctic krill was and therefore what Antarctic sea ice conditions were like. To study the structure of the fat cells, we look at very thin slices of blubber tissue here in the lab under the microscope. The structure of the fat cells can tell us a lot. Big fat cells show us a healthy whale with lots of energy reserves and good nutrition. It may seem odd, but because whales fast up to nine months, they need to store plenty of fat to be healthy and survive the migration. And because you are what you eat, these samples give us clues about what the whales have eaten and where. For example, in years with warmer ocean temperatures, krill might be unavailable to the whales in the same numbers, meaning that whales would have to supplement their staple diet of krill with other prey or find new foraging grounds. We see that over time, our whales' energy reserves clearly mirror the conditions in the Antarctic. In warmer years, with lower sea ice concentration, we see that the whales are also noticeably thinner. What this gives us is a new way to observe remote sea ice ecosystems without travelling all the way to the Antarctic. So these graceful humpback whales are helping us to monitor one of the planet's most rapidly changing environments. Yeah.